The local Nathan Quinn leaving. He's in the PWRC2 production car category. Of course, for us, it's all about the ARC. Lots of drama in the early stages. We're even hearing a report that Tony Sullins is out on stage three. We're at the end of SS4. Interested to see Eli Evans coming to the line very shortly. See what's happened over the last few stages before service. And of course, that big talking point is tyres. Give us the report card, mate. Yeah, look, put new tyres on at the start of that, so I had a push. Um, you know, we had a bit of a lead over the rest of the pack. Simon's obviously out in front at the moment, so, um, you know, that's not so bad. He's a fair bit behind the championship. He's got to push, so smart thing to do. I just drove through here as neat and as fast as I could, had a bit of a go, and had more fun now, for sure. The stage before that one was, was not very good as well. It was, yeah, hard to find a good feeling, and we didn't have time to change the tyres, and they were just completely canvassed, but... Um, like that's the first stage all day that everything's felt good, so <laughs> we're starting the rally now. <laughs> you start the rally now, change. It happens like that sometimes, but you've got to dig deep in these situations, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's a long rally, and what do you do? You just stop because things aren't going your way, so um, yeah, we just want to get back to feeling good, and, and hopefully if you know we can keep the rhythm we had there going, then uh, things should be better. Yeah. That was awesome. Right? That was really good. Like cars are going to a few moments, but obviously we're finding that limit a bit, but got away with them, so let's go get this done and go again. What's, what's changed since the last rally? I mean, I was, we almost felt like I was coaching you a little bit at the last one. You were really down in the dumps, couldn't find the rhythm, and you were in a positive mindset before here, but right now you're loving it all. Yeah, I just, um, I obviously taken on board a lot. A few people said, and obviously having Neil in my corner and sort of pulled me aside a few times and said, oi, saw that out. So I've uh, done a few things in between, and uh, it's yeah, clearly helping, and I think a bit of bumming seat time between the last Queensland and here has also helped. Um, it's just, I know, we're just working. It's just really oh, good. Mate. Don't tell me that's been like that for 30 kilometres, boys. I think we've done a Scott Peter and left the boot open. Oh, dear. <laughs> and it, it is quite uh, sandy dust, so everything's come in. How are your eyes going? Because the sweat starts to go. You've got to keep the concentration up. You're in a good position. How did you fare through there? I, I thought that was a really good run. Um, at the end there, yeah, the eyes were starting to play havoc, but I, Brent was on the notes really well, and uh, everything just seemed to be working, even though there was a lot going on. Uh, we're pretty casual through there, it was really nice and um, just trying to look after tyres. That's as simple as that. We had a bit more wear than we expected, so the rear tyres are bald. We did the front to rear before this and there was already a little bit of canvas hanging out, so I uh, just thought I'd look after them and uh, just try to be as clean and as fast as possible and I'm happy with that.